serious about repairing our economy. All right, let's get into this thing. Uh, personal injury attorneys, Todd Long and Jeremiah Jasmine, both here tonight. Personal injury attorneys, we know they're not going to be punching each other, although it would make good TV, but let's not do that today, guys. All right, Todd, you came on Fox 35 not one week ago, and you said, why won't he just show the birth certificate? Now that he has, are you satisfied? I guess he responded to my call. No, no of course I'm. I think 99% of people in this country, whether you're conservative or liberal, are happy to have the issue behind us. You know, obviously we've got massive issues with inflation going out of control, unemployment, the national debt's ballooning, all the things that Obama is causing. And uh, so I'm happy he did it. Why he did waited for three years so the whole nation had to be you know, stressed about this, why this issue. I don't know why I waited this long, but I'm glad he did it. Jeremiah, speaking for that 1% of the country that they, maybe it isn't behind him, seems the president damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. Does it? Was he right to show his birth certificate and try to end this thing? Yeah, he was right to, to show the birth certificate, but the reality is here he showed his certificate of live birth mm -hmm. years ago, uh, which is a legal document, satisfies all the requirements of federal law. So this has really been just crazy talk coming from the far right, who really have been trying to undermine the legitimacy of the president from day one. So, uh, you know, for those folks, it's, you know, you, you, you really love the guy and you always will, or you don't like him at all and you always won't. They won't like him no matter what. Right. And uh, this is just one less bullet in their chamber, but they'll, they'll still keep firing him. Well, there you go. See, Todd, let me ask you that. Is, is this just for people who love a good conspiracy? But Trump is still saying now, well, I have to check the validity of the document. It, maybe it's a fake. Next, it's about his college transcripts. Where does this all end? Well, I'm sure you, you have some of that. But, I mean, I think for most of us, I'm, I'm sure he's not lying about this, and this is legitimate. And I think most of us were just concerned, well, why doesn't he just end this controversy? We do have serious issues in this country going on. He is causing us massive inflation, causing us to go bankrupt and, you know, destroying our health care system. There's a lot of things that President Obama is really doing, a lot of harm to this country. And I can guarantee you, most people, the vast majority, those are the things they're concerned about. So I think we're happy to have this issue behind us. And I speak for, I can guarantee you, almost all the conservatives in this nation. Well, let, me, let me ask you both this question. Both respond to this. Did he play, the president play politics well on this one? Did he make Donald Trump look silly or did he make Trump look like a real force that can get the president to do what he wants? Well, I think Trump's going to argue uh, on his own behalf of, with regard to that issue, but, you know, the president has been trying to avoid this issue and address all the concerns that uh, my good friend Todd Long has been just talking about now. Um, so, you know, as far as the political strategy and gamesmanship, probably it's been working to his advantage because what it's done is made the Republicans look silly. Uh, well, yeah, and that's what I think most of us conservatives think that he's been doing this just to obviously for political advantage because it's not helping the country to have this issue hanging over our head. It was easily fixed. And Donald Trump, sure, Donald Trump's going to say, look, I got involved and I've cleared up this issue for Americans. I get things done. And if I'm him, I'm like, I'm a person that actually gets things done. And I think it helps him. Well, all right, guys. I don't know that it's over yet. So uh, keep, keep at least one evening free uh, next week, okay? Jeremiah Jasmine and Todd Long, guys, good to have you both back Thank again. you very much. Thanks so much. By the way, I can guarantee it's not over because uh, later on tonight we're going to continue the conversation, yeah. talk about the politics of it. This is a very engaging debate. At 10, be there. Come